Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part 9 of the exercise 17.4. So we'll see the first problem. A square lawn of length 24 meter is surrounded by a path 5 meter wide and we have to find the cost of leveling the path. I have to pay that is 20 to 50 per, this is per meter. So now let us start. This is the square. This is a lawn. And there is a, it has a path that is 5 meter wide. So this is wide and this will be the length of it. So now this will be from both the sides, this will be 5 meter and this is going to be 5 meter. So what we can do, the side length of the square means what will be that, including the path will be 24 plus both the sides is 5 means we can write here 2 into 5. Hope this is clear. So we can write here 24 plus 10, that will be 34 meter because it is including the path. So now first thing what we are going to do, total area of the lawn and path together, what will be that? Area means because since that is a square, that is going to be the formula for square, that area of square, that is going to be side square. So we'll write here 34 square because we got this as 34. So that will be 34 into 34, 1156 square meter. And the area of the lawn, this is including the path. And thus the area of the lawn that is given as 24. So this one, just the square, that is going to be a square, that will be 24 square, that will be 576. So now they have to find the cost of leveling the path. So what will you do? First thing, what will you do? Area of the path. So we have to see the area of the path. That will be the total area, this one. Minus we have to subtract the area of the lawn. So that will be area of the path is going to be 1156 minus 576. That will be 580 square meter because this is the area. So cost of leveling that is one for one square meter is given because they have given the path, the cost of leveling the path. So we have found out this area for the path. So that is one square, so in this one meter will be to the piece 22.50. So for this one, 580 cc so for one square meter, we can do like this separately to understand better. This is rupees 250. And this is also in square meter. So we can write this below this one. 580 square meter will be how much? So what will you do? We will cross multiply. So cross multiplying whenever we do. So at this line, what we can see this one. That there are two numbers. So whatever the two numbers are there, that will go in the numerator. And here you can see at this part, this part, there is only one number that is one. And we don't know this. We have to find out. So that will go in the denominator. So 580 into 22.550 and divided by one, usually we don't write one. So when you multiply this one, so that should be rupees 13,050. A garden is 95 meter long and 80 meter broad. A path of five meter wide is to be built outside around it and you have to find the area of the path. So length of garden is 95 meter. The breadth of garden is 80 meter. So now the new length of garden, including this path, will be what? That will be 95. And because it is 5 meter, that is going to be wide. So that will be both the sides 5, 5 means 95 plus 2 into 5. So again, this will be 95 plus 10. That will be 105 meter. That is including the path. That is very important. And the new breadth again, that breadth also is going to be what? Both the sides, it is going to be. Around it means 5 meter wide is to build outside around it means this side also is going to be that will be 5 that will be 2 into 5 and that will be 80 plus because this the breadth is given as 80 80 plus this 10 so that is going to be 90 so you got the new breadth and the new length as well. So now what we are going to do we are going to see the total because here we want to find the area of the path. So total area of the garden, including the part, that is the length into breadth. So when the, including the part means this new, we have to see the length in the breadth. So that is 105 into 90, which will be 9,450. And area of the garden without the path. So that will be without the path means that will be this. We have to consider this the length and the breadth, the original one. So that will be 95 into 80. That will be 7,600 square meter. Always write this unit that area is always in square. So now we want the area of the path means what you are going to do. You are going to subtract the area, including the path minus this one, area of the garden. So total area minus the area of the garden, that will be 9450 minus 76. 
zero zero. So this is going to be one eight five zero square meter. A square lawn is of side hundred and ten meter. A road five meter wide is made all around inside the lawn. Find the area of the road. Now, first now let us see side of the inner square. So what is that? Because it is of side one hundred and a road wide is made all around inside the lawn. So this is a lawn, and inside there is a road. So now that is five meters. So we can see side of the inner square. That will be this is hundred and ten because this this square lawn is of side hundred and ten. And we can there subtract this one because both side five meter means you have to subtract minus two into five. So one hundred and ten minus this is ten. So that will be hundred meter. So the area of the lawn. So this area of the lawn is how much? Hundred and ten. So because that is a square one, it's given that is a square one. So you know that area of the the square is that is side square. So we will take this hundred and ten into hundred and ten. So that will twelve thousand hundred square meter. So we want the area of the inner square. This one square and the inner one. We want this area of this one, this inner square. So that will be what is that? That we got after taking the inner square, we got this as side. We got as hundred. So that will be hundred into hundred. So that will be ten thousand square meter. So now we have to find the area of the road. So see, this is a square. Inside there is a square. So we want this area of this one. So then, what is that? Area of the road is area of the lawn minus area of the inner square. That will be twelve thousand hundred minus this ten thousand. So that is going to be two thousand hundred square meter. So now let us see how to do this one. A garden is seventy-five meter long and sixty meter wide. There is a swimming pool of length twenty meter and of length twenty meter and the breadth is seven meter. In it, find the cost of putting grass in the remaining part of the garden at rupees forty-five per square meter. So length of the garden is given as seventy-five meter. Width of the garden, that is the breadth, that is sixty meter. So area of the garden is length into width. So that will be seventy-five into sixty. That will be four thousand five hundred square meter. And the area of the swimming pool, that is length is twenty, and the breadth is seven. So that is going to be one hundred and forty square meter. So for the area of grass, we want. Find the cost of putting grass in the remaining part of the garden at rupees forty-five per square meter. So the area of the grass for the grass is area of the garden minus the area of the swimming pool. That is four thousand five hundred minus this one forty. So that is going to be four thousand three hundred and sixty square meter. So we got the area. So now they have asked find the cost. So cost is given as rupees forty-five per square meter. So one square. Meter that is rupees forty-five. So we can write here cost of for putting this grass for one square meter. That is rupees forty-five. So cost of putting this grass for four thousand three hundred and sixty square meter. So again, once I said here one square meter, that is rupees forty-five, and four three six zero square meter below this meter square meter, you will write this. That will be how much? So again, we are going to cross multiply. So now these are two numbers. So this will go in the numerator. This one will go in the denominator. That will be four three six zero into forty five divided by one. Usually we don't write it. So after multiplying this, you get rupees one lakh ninety six thousand two hundred. Two crossroads, each of width four meter, run at right angle through the city of a park of length that is sixty five meter and breadth is forty five meter. And parallel to its sides, find the area of the roads. Also, find the cost of constructing the roads at the rate of rupees, that is five hundred per. This is ten square meter. So now let us go step by step. So now let us draw the rough, this diagram. Two cross, cross roads are there. Each the width is four meter. They are running at right angles to the city of a park of length is given here. So now this is the. we can say this is a park and these are the two crossroads so the width is given as 4 so we can draw this one as this 4 because we have to show the width so this is 4 the middle one this also should be 4 this also should be 4 and this also should be 4 so i have given here this one so now this is 
the length is 65 so the longer side that is this is the length is 65 and the breadth this is the breadth that is 45 the shorter one so now first thing what will you do total area of the roads we have to find out the area and also then the cost first now let us go for the area so total area of the roads so what will be that area of the road we will say along the length of the park plus the area of the road along the breadth of the park along the breadth of the park and then what are you going to do you are going to subtract minus now see here this board you are going to add it area of the road along the length of the park plus area of the road along the breadth of the park this you are going to add it and then you are going to subtract area of the square of side this is four centimeter this you are going to subtract the square of side four four this is meter formed by the intersection of the roads so what will you do here for this one you will write here for the length of the road means this is like this here 65 into this four because the width is given as four plus here again this breadth because area of the road along the breadth of the park that will be 45 into four and then minus here because that is a square of side four meter means uh, square means that is area will be side square so four into four so this step is very important so now when you multiply this you get 260 this is going to be 180 and this is going to be minus 16 so first you will add this one so that is going to be 260 plus 180 that is going to be 440 and this minus 16 so that is going to be 424 so this will be 424 so we got the area for this one area of the road so now we will go for the cost they have said cost is rupees 500 per 10 square meter so cost of constructing the road is rupees 500 per 10 square meter so we have to be very careful with this one 10 so cost of constructing the roads for this is 424 so now let us see we can write here 10 square meter cost is 500 and now we want for 424 square meter will be how much you write separately so that you understand it better so we are going to cross multiply this one this cross multiplication works very well so what will you do you will write here two numbers means these two numbers will be in the numerator 424 into 500 and this one because this is a single number we don't know what is the cost of it so that 10 will go in the denominator so this is what i have written here hope this part is clear to you so 424 into 500 divided by 10 so this and this goes off so when you multiply this one you get 21,200 rupees the cost of constructing the road so by this one we have completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of other parts thank you